old. I was sitting about where Henry is from the leaning where he was, my platoon was, and I, I looked and I saw, I saw cold in his corner, and his handlers were uh, were uh, taking blood out of his eyes, wiping his nose, bleeding. He goes sat in that corner and said, "I've had enough. Done. I'm done." But he was a champion. Yes, sir. <laughs> He was a champion. Yes, he was more than a conqueror. Yes, I like that. Yes, he was more than a conqueror. Yes, there are conquerors and there's more than a conqueror. Right. Hey. Praise the name of the Lord. Woo. I don't know. I'm so excited. Up here, I'm, I'm, I'm a boss by crowd. Huh? I don't know. Uh, do I need to go to a tent somewhere? Do I need to go uh, somewhere uh, and, and, and preach this message other than Gospel Tabernacle? Praise the name of the Lord. I gotta watch my crowd here. Amen. Amen. Well, let me tell you something. I believe Gospel Tabernacle needs this message. I believe I need this message. I believe the church right now needs this message. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe that God, oh my, 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 praise the name of the Lord. I believe God wants to get a great revival started in Brinkton, Florida. I believe the Holy Ghost wants to break out in this past. I believe that God wants to do something extraordinary. Glory. If you feel that way, touch your foot or stomp your feet or... And the medical doctor walked over and he said, uh, you want to stay in your corner, son? You want to uh, quit? You want to stop? You're in bad shape. Hope said, no. Let me go to him one more time. I don't believe that German ever knew what hit him. There was a buzz saw went across that ring. That little spindly fella, bleeding and beat up like he was, he waded into that fella. He was a champion. He beat him across the ring. He beat him through the ropes. He beat him out of the ropes. He crawled through the ring and went after him outside. After he got him out of the ring, it wasn't enough. He went down and said, this is enough. I've been beaten for seven rounds, but I'm a champion and I'm coming back. Praise the name of the Lord. Paul the apostle could have given up after they treated him the way they did in Jerusalem. Somebody said, oh, Brother Marlow, you don't know. Yes, I know. Yes, you think I've been in a hot house for 66 years of walking with God? You think I've been in a plastic bubble of some kind? And God made exceptions for people working on me, in me, through me? You think that I'm an exception to the rule? No, sir, nobody is an exception to the rule. There's one cross and there's one way. And there's one Christ, Amen. and we're all going that way. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, but good tomorrow, God gives me certain privileges. I get certain time out, and He expects me to have it. No, He doesn't. He expects you to get back in the ring and to fight the good fight of faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. He expects you to be in the ring. But Brother Marlow, God makes an exception for me. No, you're in the ring. You're to be a champion. If you're beat up, if you're bleeding, if you're afflicted, whatever it is, whatever it is, just say in the name of the Lord, I'm going to get in the ring and I'm going to finish the course. If you've been to church and seen a bad example, come on back to the ring. If somebody's talked about you, come on back to the ring. If somebody said something, come on back to the ring. Praise the name of the Lord. If somebody got ahead of you, come on back to the ring. If somebody stole your thunder, come on back to the ring. If somebody stole your a place, uh, love have it and praise God for it and get back in the ring. Amen. Amen. Because God 
bunch of people. Oh, let me finish this. Oh, my goodness. Come on, brother. Come on. Amen. i got to finish it. Come on. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you for this heavyweight champion, Lord. Heavyweight. Wish the Lord the righteous judge shall give me that day. And not to me only. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. My mother thanks you. My dad thanks you. We all thank you, Paul. Thank God you said this. Thank God Paul just didn't say he had a crown of life, but he said he'll give it to all. All of them that love his appearing. Amen. Life has two sides, the bad side, the good side. When you see the bad side, you're a child of God. Get on the good side of the Lord and get on past it. Amen. Amen. Life has a dark and a, a bright side. It has a negative and a positive. Sometimes I walk across from this building, 11 o'clock at night, 1030, 1130, and I get to go home sometimes, sometimes we don't. And I go upstairs, and I've got a lot on my mind. There's a lot on my mind about this tabernacle square and about the body of Christ and about the family of God. But I take my burdens to the Lord, and I leave them there. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. With him. Oh, leave it there. Leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. If you'll trust and never doubt, you will surely now take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Oh, leave it there. champion is your example. He's your apostle. I'm going to say this and you know, uh, switch channels and, and let the Lord do what, what else he wants to do. I don't know how you describe my ministry. I don't know how you would. I could describe it many ways. The beginning of a new ministry, the closing of an older ministry, beginning of a new day, the end of a day. I can tell the church, and I want all of you to look right at me while I'm saying this because you are the church and I'm your shepherd. And I want to tell you my heart. I don't visualize a whimpering pup in Brother Marlowe going over into a corner and letting this church die in the ashes of yesterday. We've got a lot of responsibility here. We've got a lot of vision here. We've got a lot of truth here. We've got truth that God has not put on that corner or the other corner or the other corner. We have truth tonight to praise God for. Amen. Amen. We have a pathway called the pathway of charity that you won't find on that corner or the other corner or the other corner. We've got a lot of property. We've got a lot of responsibility. We've got a lot of work. And we've got a lot of gospel to preach in Pentagorda, Florida. Amen. And if you want to help build a mission church, be with us on Thursday night. And go get in the ring in Punta Gorda. Well, because we're down there building. Want to go over to Sebring and get in the ring. Get in the ring. And build. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to have, what are we having tomorrow night? Fire practice. If you can sing. If you can sing. I don't sing, Brother Morrow, perfect. I didn't say if you sung perfect. I said if you've got a desire in your heart to sing. You be here and practice and let's tomorrow. 
worker in the choir as the leader of the choir. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if you want to sing in the house of the living God, there's no age limit. There's no age limit. As long as you're mature enough to stand up, hold a book in front of you, sing or sing uh, as your others sing, uh, uh, that the choir is a place where you can work and you can give your life and you can get in the ring. Praise the name of the Lord and do it cheerfully and happily that you have a place where you can lift up the banner of Jesus Christ. When they have band practice next week, that's band practice. I want anybody and everybody in this church that's ever played an instrument, I want them to feel free to show up at band practice. And Sister Teresa, the leader of the band, will work you into the band. Because a year from tonight, what, not one of those chairs will be sitting there empty or they'll be removed from the platform. Because I do not see a church where people do not give themselves over to praise and music. I believe God has the best musicians ever on the face of the earth right here in our church. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 It's been a long time since I picked up a trumpet. And I, if I have to and need to, I'll pick up my trumpet and play it again. I've lost my lip. I've lost the ability to find playing by ear, but I'll find it again. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because I believe that God, that God wants the mighty army of the Lord to be embellished with a sound of victory in the camp. Oh, I really didn't know where I was going to go on my feet tonight, but I know where I'm going now. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We need uh, ushers, steadfast, dedicated ushers. I want to see John Henry at the door every other meeting. Right. There's too many men in this church. There's too many men that can serve. There's too many men that can get in the ring and get in there and finish the championship. When we greet God's people, love God's people, tell God's people how pretty they are when you walk through the door. See that they've got a chair because tonight there's plenty of seats, but the time will come when you'll have to hunt a seat in this place. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't question what you can do for God. Just know what God can do for you. Amen. I don't think you got that. Nobody has a wrong with that. Amen. Amen. Brother Bernard, you didn't even say praise God on that. Amen. 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 I said, don't question what you can do for God. Amen. Oh, God, you know I can. You know I got that. I got an owe you know here. I got an owe you know there. And Lord, you know about this. And I got a bunion on my foot. And I've got, uh, you know, I, I, you know, Lord, I've got a problem. God is not interested in your problems except to solve your problem. All right. That's all he's going to do with your problem is solve your problem. Yeah. You know, the only thing he did for Paul and Silas in the midnight tale? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They sang songs. They, they praised God. Right. They never worried about being in jail. Right. I don't read where they look for a bondsman. Right. You read where they look for a bondsman? Right. Somebody get happy about that. Right. Praise the name right. of the Lord. Right. They didn't look for a bondsman. Right. You know what they did? They sang songs. Come on, don't go into 
to a psychic kick here. No, no. Don't get yourself all in trouble. No, sir. Amen. Amen. Don't lose your marbles. Amen. Amen. My God. Amen. Yeah. He said, look here. He said, we're all here. We're all here. We're not criminals. Amen. We haven't run anywhere. Amen. You got another day of us? God will shake that down. That's security, Lord. Yes, it does. Yeah, Blake, I never finished that. You that were here this afternoon, yeah. let me finish it. I won't tell it all. I'll get the tail end of it. That security guard, he wouldn't let me alone. He said, when I come back to the gate door, and his superior called him on the radio and said, where are you, 454? Where are you? to his chair because I guess he thought he'd lose his job. I come back through. Yeah. He couldn't resist it. <laughs> he followed me outside. Yeah. He said, oh, I still want to know what to do with evil. I think it's the devil that comes to your mind. I sit in that chair and I have evil thoughts. I don't know what to do with them. Is that the devil? I said, you got a revelation that I've been searching for since the dark ages. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You found the devil. Amen. A lot of people try to find him, they never can find him. They don't look close enough. <laughs> they don't look close enough. They look too far out. They think that their neighbor is the devil or the, or the fellow around the door is the devil. You know, they don't look close enough. Mm -hmm. But here, here he was, this security guard. He said, tell me how to get rid of that. He said, don't be surprised about dropping your church. I'm expecting him in here some Sunday night. I said, well, let me illustrate. I said, you see that door that we come through? He said, yes. I said, the only way you're going to handle that door being open is you get back through it. And then you shut it. And the way you handle evil is push it back through the right door. And then shut it. Praise the name of God. And you'll have evil. You're a product of your thoughts. As long as you think like you're thinking and it's producing things that's troubling, upsetting, bothering, frustrating, giving you a case of nerves, giving you a, uh, a case of discouragement, uh, bringing you down, tripping you up, uh, keeping you from doing what God wants you to do, you're going to have the door open and they're going to come through. But if you shut the door, that is if you let the Lord shut because it's I shut the door, no man opens it. He said, thank you, preacher. I'm going to be over to see you. I don't know if he will. That's God's will. I know one thing. I know there's hungry people all, right. all over this world right now. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why I'm getting ready to have another revival here. Praise our God. Amen. Last night I had in the Civic Center, they fought me like a tiger. Every thought I could have, people around me, Joe's comforters. Uh, I, I, somebody said, did you have the whole church encourage you, brother? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I had my God, and I had my voice from heaven. And then the devil jumped on me, sent me to the hospital after a biopsy. But what was it, that stuff I had? E. coli. E. coli. Sound like you're speaking in tongues. E. coli. Glad E. coli put me in the hospital. 
But God's done two great miracles in my life. Yes. I was in the hospital before our convention. I knew I needed to be up for our convention. And God raised me up. And got me out of the hospital. I knew when we had that revival, I was to preach that revival. And souls were to come in. And God raised me up. And we had the revival. How big is your God tonight? How big is your God tonight? Are you going to finish the fight? Are you going to stay in the ring? Are you going to finish it out? Are you going to finish your course? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Somebody said they didn't produce it. Surely hold up your hands. There's one right over there. Come in during the revival. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, how could I forget Robert and Susan? I never met them, never seen them, didn't know them, but they showed up in the revival. And they've been showing up ever since. And they got enough fire in them to finish the boxing match. Praise the name of the Lord till they sold their home over in Largo in that area and moved right over here in Bayshore where they can be right here and he can take me out in his boat. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, how big is our God? I think somebody ought to just give him praise right now. Would you, would you blow your saxophone? Would you sound your trumpet? Would you, would you boom, boom, boom on the piano? Uh, would you boom, boom, boom on the drum? Praise the name of the Lord. Would you strum that guitar for a minute? Would you blow that trumpet back there? Because I'm going to shout tonight and tell the church that there is a great 